The human body is organized in six levels of increasing size and complexity. These levels are ranked in a hierarchy with the smallest levels becoming fundamental components of the larger levels. This upside down pyramid represents the rankings and size of the levels with the smallest level, the chemical level, at the bottom and the largest level, the organismal level, at the top. As we ascend through the pyramid, each level gets larger and more complex and takes on new properties. These levels of life's organization are similar to the way any language is constructed. Letters, the smallest units, are arranged into words, which are ordered into sentences, which are grouped into paragraphs, etc. The smallest level of structural organization is the chemical level, which is composed of atoms and molecules. Atoms, such as hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon, and oxygen, are constantly engaged in various chemical reactions throughout the body. Molecules are two or more atoms bonded together. Examples of molecules include water, carbohydrates like starch, and DNA. The second level of organization is the cellular level. Cells are made of a variety of small and large molecules. Cells, like the skeletal muscle cell, are basic building blocks that make up the structure and function of any living thing. They often have quite specialized shapes that correspond to their specific function. They are the smallest units of life. In addition to muscle cells, we'll be studying a diverse range of cells in this course, including epithelial cells, bone cells, and the various types of blood cells. The third level of organization is the tissue level. Tissues are groups of cells and the materials around them that work together to carry out a specific function. This is skeletal muscle tissue with its cells arranged parallel to each other. They're all running in the same direction to engage in efficient muscle contraction and body movement. The four basic types of tissues are epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscular tissue, and nervous tissue. We'll be studying all of these tissues in detail later in the course. The fourth level of organization is the organ level. Organs are larger structures made of two or more different tissues, with each organ having specific structures and functions. This whole skeletal muscle is made mostly of skeletal muscle tissue, but is also bound together by connective tissue and covered by epithelial tissue. Examples of a few of the other organs that we'll be studying in this course include the skin, bones, heart, and lungs. The fifth level of organization is the system level, also called the organ system level. A system is composed of groups of related organs that share a common function. The muscles of the posterior arm, as shown here, are just one part of the muscular system. As you'll learn, there is a strong degree of interrelationships between the systems, such as the gas exchange interactions between the cardiovascular and respiratory systems. The sixth and final level of organization is the organismal level, which is the entire living organism, our own human body, with all of the systems working together as a unit to keep us alive. The organ systems that we'll be studying in this course include the integumentary system. This includes the skin and accessory structures like hair and fingernails. The word integument means covering. It functions in protection, body temperature regulation, and sensation. The skeletal system. This includes the bones and joints. It functions in protection, support, muscle attachment, mineral storage, and movement. 
the muscular system. This includes the skeletal muscles attached to the bones. It functions in movement and heat production. The cardiovascular system. This includes the heart, blood, and blood vessels. It functions in the transport of oxygen, carbon dioxide, nutrients, hormones, and wastes. It also plays a big role in immune defense against disease-causing organisms. The respiratory system. This includes the lungs and airways. It functions in gas exchange between the air, blood, and body cells. The rest of the body's organ systems. The nervous, endocrine, digestive, urinary, and reproductive systems are the main topics of study in anatomy and physiology, too.